Hey everyone, Lefton and Cayman Row here from the Irish Air Corps back as part of Science Week 2020. So yesterday we talked about thrust, which is an essential part of what allows an aircraft to fly. But thrust only makes up part of a much bigger picture. Today we're going to explore this, and I'm joined here by Lieutenant Stephen Shannon, who's going to help us understand what goes into keeping an aircraft in the air. So Stephen, when we're talking about the principles of flight, where do we begin? Well, Ken, for an aircraft to stay in steady level flight, it has to have four important forces working in balance together. And they are thrust, drag, lift and weight. And we're going to talk a little bit about each of these forces today. Thrust is what pushes or pulls an aircraft forward and it acts along the centre line of the fuselage. This thrust can come in many forms, such as a turbofan engine which we have seen on our Learjet or a turboprop engine which we have seen on the Casa in yesterday's video. In the case of the PC-9M here, it uses a turbopropeller engine which is essentially a turbine engine that drives a propeller. Drag is the opposite of thrust and it pulls the plane backwards. For the aircraft to fly straight and level, the thrust must be balanced with the drag. Everyone has felt drag. For example, if you try to walk against a strong wind or have ever stuck your hand out of the window of a moving car. Simply put, drag is the force of air moving around the aircraft and pushing off it, and it always moves in the opposite direction of travel. Lift is the force that keeps the plane in the air, and it is created by the wings. The wings have a special shape that allow the air to move at different speeds, and this causes different pressures. See how the top of the wing is curved and on the bottom it is flat. On the top the air has to go a further distance due to the curve in the same amount of time as the air on the bottom. Therefore it must be moving faster. And we know from Bernoulli's principle that faster moving air has a lower pressure. So we have a low pressure on the top and a relative high pressure on the bottom, so the resultant force is straight up and this is called lift. Finally, we have weight, which is opposite to the lift and forces the plane downwards. Weight must be balanced with lift in order for the aircraft to fly. This is the force created by gravity that everyone experiences on Earth and is what you see when you stand on a weighing scales. It doesn't matter how heavy an aircraft is, as long as enough lift is created to counteract it. So even very large aircraft can fly as long as they have larger wings. So, we have looked at the four forces that keep an aircraft in level flight, but what if you want to turn, climb or descend? To do this, we use something called control surfaces, which are controlled by the pilot by a control stick in the cockpit. The main control surfaces are attached to the airframe on hinges so that they can move and deflect the airstream passing over them. These control surfaces affect the airflow around the aircraft in such a way that allows it to change direction. If we want to roll, we use the ailerons. Ailerons are mounted on the back edge of each wing near the wingtips and move in opposite directions. One side goes down, producing more lift, and the other side rises, producing less lift, and this causes the aircraft to roll in that direction. Moving the stick left causes the left wing to drop and the right wing to rise. This causes the plane to bank left and to begin to turn in the same direction. If we want to pitch, we use the elevator, which is mounted on the back edge of the horizontal stabilizer. The elevator changes the lift on the horizontal stabilizer up or down, which allows us to raise or lower the nose. Doing this allows an aircraft to climb or descend, which changes the altitude of the aircraft. Pulling back on the control stick moves the elevator upwards and causes the wings to fly at a higher angle of attack, producing more lift and more drag. This causes the aircraft to climb. To yaw, we use the rudder, which is mounted on the back edge of the fin located on the tail. To control the rudder, we use foot pedals located in the cockpit, which change the forces on the fin and allows us to push left or right. Pushing the right pedal causes the rudder to deflect to the right. This pushes the tail left and causes the nose to yaw to the right. Combining all of these controls allow us to do some pretty cool stuff.
Thanks for following us through our various Science Week topics. We're not quite finished yet, as we have one remaining release tomorrow to answer some of your questions from this week. For recruitment information, you can follow our various social media channels or visit military.ie.